Hey everyone, Wayne Fox here. I guess I owe Kensington an apology, and I probably will drop them a note. Recently, I reviewed their Thunderbolt 5 dock, which I was fairly excited. I do think it needs more ports to be a really good dock, and we'll see where OWC and Sonnet and uh, Cal Digit go with that. But in the meantime, I criticized the dock because when I connected legacy Thunderbolt 3, USB 4, Thunderbolt 4, SSD devices, I got a substantial hit in the write speed in the neighborhood of, I was all the way down to 1200 megabytes a second. And I assumed it was their device. I contacted them and I says, hey, this is the problem I'm seeing. This device should get at least 2800. That's what it gets through a Thunderbolt 4 dock. And Thunderbolt 5 actually should probably give me a little better than that because there's just not as much bandwidth limitation of the displays. That's a whole nother story. And I don't know if you saw that video that I did a while back, but that is a problem with docks when you start cranking a lot of your data and your bandwidth to your displays, you might lose write speed to your storage devices. Regardless, I just finished up my video for the OWC Thunderbolt 5 Hub. It's It will be out in a few days. I'm just polishing it up, if, if you can call my videos polished. And I found it exhibits the exact same problem, the exact same loss of bandwidth to legacy devices in the right speed. And this is an OWC 1M2 device connected to an OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub. I don't know if this problem is just something we'll have to live with. That's just a quirk of Thunderbolt 5. And until you can move those SSDs into a Thunderbolt 5 or USB 4 version 2 uh, enclosure, like this one from Acasis that I recently reviewed, once I move it here, I get great speed. Even though it's limited, there is a loss of speed if you have displays connected, but we're talking 4,000 megabytes a second write and 5,800 megabytes a second read, whereas they'll get 5,800 write and read if you connect them directly to your Mac. I don't know. This could be related to the chipset they're using. I didn't really research to see if they're using the same chipset. This might just be a fundamental problem with Thunderbolt 5. And these legacy devices, they're supposed to be backward compatible. And I guess it depends on how you define compatible. Compatible means they'll work or compatible means they'll work as good, which that's to me is compatible. Or like I said, they actually probably should work a little better because the display bandwidth really shouldn't affect the throughput to these devices. I don't know where to go from here. I've contacted Kensington about the problem, but I'll probably update them and say, look, this seems to be a Thunderbolt 5 dock problem. I will contact OWC and see if they're willing to listen to me. Unfortunately, I'm a really small channel. I thought I'd throw this video on there. I do think that Kensington device was a good device other than this problem. I still think it has fewer ports than it really should to be a good dock for $400, but it probably would work fine. In my case, I'm keeping the OWC that I've got. And instead of my Avanki dock, which takes two ports to my computer, I've decided that I can use a Thunderbolt 4 dock and I'm going to use Cal Digits because my main issue is USB devices and it's got eight USB ports, including three on the front, which I'm always needing. It's got the SD cards I need, which the OWC hub doesn't have. It's just a hub. It really doesn't have any ports except one little USB port. So it truly is just a hub. Of course, it's only $200. But anyway, between those two, I think I can have really good connections. And the good news is I can connect my storage device either directly to my Mac in that third port and get that lovely 5,800 megabytes a second read and write speed. Or if I need to, I can just plug it into my Cal or my OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub and I'll still get around 4,000 even though it's driving at two 4K displays. Well, I thought I'd throw this video out there just to talk about it. I don't know what to do. I'm hoping that maybe some bigger check tech channels that have a little more clout discover this, or maybe even somebody like Cal Digit or OWC hear about it and research it. If it's what we have to live with, I don't understand it. I don't see why we should have to live with it. That just doesn't seem compatible, backward compatible to me. Well, let me know what you think. Hey, thanks for watching. See ya.